Hi, Jennifer or Vegan Tech Nomad here. This is the video slash audio recording of my premium subscription email, which I am going to be sending out very soon. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because first, um, I want to make my knowledge accessible to people even if you can't afford the five dollars a month premium subscription um, but of course this is just going to be a video of me talking to the camera and also um, i'm not going to be screen sharing any text or anything because that is specifically for the premium subscribers but you'll get pretty much the same knowledge um, i'll just be reading through some of the details that are in the email so if you need to go cook or do chores or anything you can also listen to this um, because it's just going to be me talking to the camera so first up is um, i made a mistake with the premium subscriptions and that is what today's email um, and topic is going to be about and this is just all my learnings so that you can avoid making the same mistakes or if you do make the same mistakes this is how you can fix it so the related note is if you use Apple Pay to pay for premium subscriptions and you notice that you were charged multiple times, don't worry because I'll be refunding the extra charges and sorting out the issue with Beehive support team hopefully this week or next week. And this was um, part of the issue or like the mistake that I made is um, because I found out that people were being charged multiple times using Apple Pay because when they clicked pay using Apple Pay, it said that it didn't go through when it actually did. So I turned off Apple Pay and I'm just sorting out the issue with Beehive support right now. Um, so this email is about how I discovered this issue and everything else um, I learned from it. So the summary of today's email or talk, I guess, is my mistake number one, mistake number two, um, what I learned from it and how to fix it, and then um, how to use like website recording software because I think it really showed how important it was in this scenario. So mistake number one was the double charges, as I mentioned before. I did receive one or two emails from premium subscribers saying that they were charged multiple times. I assumed it was like a one-off issue. So I contacted Beehive Support. Um, I just sent them a simple email and they didn't get back to me yet at this time. But then somebody else email, DM'd me and when I got multiple, like more than one email saying that this double charge was an issue, that's when I reached out to the Beehive community on Slack because I paid for my Beehive email software. So they gave me access to the community and I was a very active part of it asking a lot of questions. So someone actually DM'd me on Instagram saying that their Apple Pay payment didn't work. But when I checked on Stripe, which is my payment processor, it showed that it actually went through multiple times. So I assumed that they tried multiple times because it said that something went wrong and it didn't work when it actually did and it worked multiple times. So I sent all of this information to um, the support team and I was able to get priority response because I was part of that Slack community. I also looked into it with the help of my website recording software, which I'll talk more about later, and discovered that the issue was actually Apple Pay because it kept saying there was a payment error when the payment actually did go through. So anyone who tried paying multiple times because they saw an error actually had their payment go through multiple times. And I'm going to be refunding those payments, so don't worry if that was you. Um, I'm just contacting Beehive Support right now to figure out what's going on, and then I'll be refunding everyone in the next week or two if you paid extra using Apple Pay. Um, so that was mistake number one, the double payments. Mistake number two is unclear communication. So I actually set up an email automation for premium users. Um, so if you're listening to this, maybe you're a premium user. If you're reading the email that I sent out, you're definitely a premium user. Um, and I sent out that email saying like, thank you for upgrading to premium and here's a freebie. But in that welcome email, I actually was not clear enough about how you can get what you paid for, which is the emails with my advice and learnings. So I actually fixed that automation, that automated email to include um, number one, when to expect my emails. So I added that you can expect it every Friday. It's just th today I had that payment issue and I finally got to the bottom of it. So today's email is um, just an exception. Um, and then number two, um, I wrote how to see an archive of all my previous premium posts. And I'll elaborate more on how I discovered that this was an issue later on um, because it was just like watching website recordings of people being confused. 
Um, so I actually wrote a new welcome email for premium subscribers and I'm just going to read out what that email says in case you want to copy this text for your own emails because I find that having templates and examples is very helpful for me. So here's the email. Thanks for upgrading to premium. Here's a free growth tech stack, a Notion page with all the tools I use to grow my content business. And there's a button with tools to grow your business and when you click that, it leads you to that Notion page. The rest of the email continues and says, it's my way of saying thank you for being here. Now that you're a premium subscriber, you can look forward to these every Friday. One, more behind the scenes of how I grow my business. Two, mistakes I've learned from. Three, tools I use. Four, advice for you and you get priority replies if you are a premium subscriber and more. So that's the list. Um, the email continues with all premium emails will have a trophy emoji in the subject line so you can find them easily. I thought I was so genius for adding this because um, I felt like some people would have trouble differentiating my regular free emails which are sent on Monday versus the premium emails which are sent on Friday. So I just thought I would add the trophy emoji there for um, premium. Anyway, the email continues. You can see an archive of all premium posts at any time by logging in with your email here. Click on the hamburger menu on the top right and I link my website. I'm always open to hearing your ideas, so hit reply and let me know what I can help you with. With love, Jennifer. P.S. Don't worry about forgetting about the subscription. I do have an automation set to email you if you have not opened an email for me in 30 days to remind you and ask if you want to cancel. Because I always feel like scared <laughs> to subscribe to something if I don't know if I'm going to forget about it. So I do have an automation for that. So just like keep an eye on your email. Um, okay, so the rest of this premium email continues with my learning. So number one is how to fix it. And communication and transparency leads to trust. That's a big thing for me and for any business in general because people need to trust you in order to buy from you. So to get priority support response, like I communicated very well. I messaged Beehive's team on our Slack community and they responded to me quickly because I tagged them and like made them aware that this was a high priority issue. And I also emailed back everyone who contacted me about this issue and now I'm sending this emergency email with full transparency about what happened and what you can learn from this mistake. My learning number two is the website recording software. So I'm very, very thankful that I set up this recording software before I set up premium or anything else. So on Beehive, the, it's my newsletter software and it gives you basically a website where people can read the previous newsletters that you've written. And since it was a website, I set up Google Analytics and Microsoft Clarity. And Microsoft Clarity just helps you with, um, it shows you website recordings and heat maps and things like that. And I watched those recordings because I was trying to figure out what issues people were having and why they were getting double charged. So here's what I saw. I saw two things. One, one user was trying to log in after they paid for premium. I'm assuming that they wanted to see the previous premium posts to make sure they always, like if you signed up for premium after I've already sent out some emails, you want to get access to the archive as well. So that's why I added how instructions for how to see the previous posts in that welcome email. Um, the second thing I saw was some users experiencing error messages when they're trying to pay with Apple Pay, not knowing that the payment actually went through. So they pressed pay multiple times and they were charged multiple times. And I also checked people who did not use Apple Pay and discovered that they did not have that same issue. So this multiple charge thing only affected users who used Apple Pay. And that is why I actually removed Apple Pay as a payment option um, for upgrading to premium, which kind of sucks because it's very easy to use Apple Pay. Um, it's like one tap and then you can pay for it and it makes people easier. It makes it easier to pay for your stuff, but um, I just removed it for now until me and the Beehive support team can sort these things out. So for some issues like this, like that first one where people were trying to log in to see an archive of the previous posts, not everyone is going to contact you about these issues. So I saw that, but I didn't get any emails from people asking me, hey, where can I see your previous posts? Because people are busy or they just didn't think to contact you or they'll just like cancel the subscription and then you're losing money. So watching these recordings helped me figure out what to fix and leads to a better user experience for everyone. And you can only discover what to fix by watching these website recordings. So Microsoft Clarity is what I use. It's completely free and very easy to set up. And if you want me to do a more in-depth tutorial and show you what my Microsoft Clarity setup looks like, 
um, please just email me back or I guess comment on this video and I will do that. But that in-depth tutorial where I screen share my entire setup, I'll be teaching you how to set up Google Analytics, Microsoft Clarity, anything um, like that then that one will only be available to premium subscribers. I will be posting it as an unlisted YouTube video and not a public video like these ones because I have a playlist called like behind the scenes where I post all these videos publicly, but that one is only for premium subscribers. Um, for people who can't afford the $5 a month right now, um, you can just probably search up a Microsoft Clarity setup and Google Analytics setup, uh, but if you want to save some time, then um, just let me know if I should film that tutorial. Um, I also add something here in this email by saying like, hey, if you want me to set up these tutorials, if you want this content, if this is valuable, please reply to this email. And I keep asking people to reply to the email and let me know stuff because I saw a tweet where somebody shared that the number of email replies is a better metric of engagement than email open or click through rates. And I think that's very true. Um, so just like comment or reply, comment on this video or reply to my emails. Um, I love reading all your comments. So thank you in advance if you do that. Um, okay, so a summary of today's email is number one, my first mistake was the double charges when using Apple Pay. Number two, my second mistake was unclear communication in the premium welcome email, which I have since fixed. And my learning number, number three is my first learning, which is that clear communication leads to trust. And number four, my second learning is that using website recording software like Microsoft Clarity can help you fix issues that people won't contact you about, but that can lead to churn or lead to people canceling their subscription with you without you even having a chance to fix the issue. Um, so that's all for today. Um, my first official premium email will be launching on Friday with all of my learnings from Going Viral, so you can look forward to that. Yeah, thanks so much.